Have you given up yet? March is here. Do you still have your resolve? What changes did you want to make for 2024? You wanted to become a better version of yourself? Everyone else desires that. We desire to be better with money. We desire to have better health. We desire fulfilling relationships. We desire health. We desire happiness. We desire peace. Right? Well, if our actions are not a reflection of this progress, all we really have is a wish list. Our daily disciplines say a lot about us. You are either growing or going. If you're not taking massive action, or if you don't have a specific plan, you're not even standing still. You're being left behind because the world keeps moving forward. So, how's your life? There's no judgment here. This is an opportunity. We get to look at the facts and gain clarity. We take an honest inventory. Based on our actions currently, where are we going? Let's make some changes today. We have a new month, a new beginning. What a concept. Tell me, if there were no limitations, how would your ideal life look like? Allow your imagination to flow for a moment. Change states. Take a deep breath in. Hold. And slowly release. Think about your future self. This is the best version of yourself. Imagine you two will meet soon and you will have the opportunity to ask your ideal self any questions you may have. You can feel this person approaching. You can feel the energy change in the air. You feel a sense of peace and passion. When you see your future self, you become astonished. They look healthy and fit, absolutely full of life. Your future self has so much confidence. Head held high, shoulders back, and an inner strength. There is a humility and compassion coming towards you as your eyes meet. It's magical how you don't need to utter words. You two are deeply connected and immediately a wisdom comes upon you. You see how your future self, your ideal self, lives. You have a beautiful family, often going on fun trips, planning activities, and sharing a deep connection. You have a successful career, not only financially, but also with a fulfilling sense of contribution. There's a deep focus on your eyes. You sense a light. You wonder how, how did you become this enlightened being? Your future self stands in front of you, smiles with deep compassion and you start to receive the answers. Pain. Pain was the greatest catalyst. It brought me to my knees. For years, I felt imprisoned by fears, fatigue, hopelessness, and a constant sense of lack. I learned I couldn't do life on my own. I asked for help. 
I surrendered. I had to look at myself in the mirror and see no one has ever lied to me more than myself. I was my worst enemy. I took responsibility for my actions, attitude, and emotion. When that happened, I unlocked a giant that was hidden inside. I was comforted in understanding that I'm the one responsible for my misery or happiness, no one else. Blaming was no longer an option, it went away. I looked up and opened my arms towards the sky. A bright golden light came down at once and entered my being from the top of my head where I felt a warmth and joy. The light continued to travel throughout my body, passing my eyes, opening my perspectives, purifying my breath and renewing every cell of my body. Every time I inhaled fresh oxygen. As the light continued to travel and passed my lips, it opened my mouth for blessings and closed any form of complaint and gossip. I took a deep cleansing breath as the light entered my throat and started to release my ideas and childhood hopes that had been locked for years. I slowly released my breath as the joy of childhood playfulness made me smile. The light went inside my chest and stopped in my heart. It then became orange like a fire. It was so peaceful and I felt home At the same time, it penetrated my soul deeply and I felt like a powerful hand started to remove profound wounds, feelings of abandonment, rejection, fears, numbness and things that I couldn't even name. I had no idea how hard my heart had become. It was like a stone, impossible to feel. The fire and the light started to melt some of the pain and a loving breath and water came in at once and cleansed it away. My heart started to beat faster and be inundated by a profound love. It felt like flesh again, and I could feel deeply every second, every beat. I could feel that every heartbeat was a breath of life that was given to me as a special gift. And I felt remorse for wasting so much time with worry and fears and feeling like I wasn't good enough. The light smiled at me as if those thoughts didn't matter anymore. It brushed them away and it continued to travel throughout my entire being, giving me a new sense of belonging and a profound mission Words can never explain that experience that I felt. It felt like I was somewhere else in another dimension for a long time. But I was so grateful and felt amazing to understand all the trials and sufferings were not in vain. I remember my life was never the same. I got up and took action at once. I 
changed my daily disciplines. I no longer had a wish list. It was a must. So I started, day after day. I woke up early, and I started to live life to the fullest. Pushing my body to the limit, exercising, taking inventory consistently, working hard, and finding joy in discipline. I stayed close to the light by praying, meditating, and listening to positive messages. A few weeks went by. I continued to log my progress in a journal. And when I had days that I was not proud of, I could see in the journal the bigger picture of my new journey. I felt like giving up many times. I didn't. I had periods where I did not feel the light with me. I kept going. My faith remained. I felt like I was in a war. I could not see the forces trying to push me down or the forces protecting and lifting me up. I kept going. Months went by. I started to notice some results. But in the beginning, there was nothing. It was just my resolve, my decision to change. Falling in love with the process and disciplines was all I had. So, years passed by. And my life became a force of nature everywhere I went, attracting more and more lights or people who needed help. This is how we achieved the best version of ourselves and we continue to grow always. So now that I have given you the answers, you can return and start. Slowly, I return to the present moment. Although I really wanted to stay with my future self in that experience. I had so much clarity. I felt that designing a specific plan for my goals came easily and effortlessly after seeing my future self. I still had one question though. As I began to inquire, what is the mission? that my future self was given. Softly, I got the answer. This I cannot tell you. You must search within yourself. You must ask for the light to touch you too, and it will be revealed if you trust and believe. I was satisfied with that answer. We embraced and all our strengths, pain, healing, and forces interconnected. My ideal self told me I could always return here if I needed inspiration. And I watched everything else return to the present moment. I took a deep breath in and smiled. I no longer would accept less than I was meant to be. What about you? How is your future self? How does your ideal life look like? And what changes can you make today to achieve it? I hope this video inspired you to become more, to desire more, and to take action. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.